nutrient content of slurry is a valuable farm asset, not only through savings in fertilizer inputs, but also because slurry can offer N, P and K in an organic form ideal for plant growth. Studies carried out with slurry bugs treated slurry from Maisco College Farm showed that following six weeks crop growth, soil nitrogen levels increased and silage dry matter yields were significantly higher compared to the untreated control plots. Maisco College Farms, based in Lancashire, comprises of a 340 cow dairy unit, a 200 head silage fed beef enterprise and 1100 lambing ewes. Slurrybug treated slurry is applied to all 850 acres of farmland. Slurrybug's bacteria utilise volatile nitrogen fractions, which reduces the gases of ammonia and methane, which are largely provided by the urine. The micronutrient for the bugs is slurry booster, which is a vital source of energy, stimulating growth and performance of the slurrybugs. The combination of slurry bugs with booster has been found to increase the biological activity in slurry lagoons by up to eight times, which means significantly more nitrogen retained. Well, my name's Roger Leach, I'm the farm operations manager at uh, Meister Farms in Lancashire, Preston, Lancashire. Used uh, slurry bugs for three years. Further research at Lancaster Environment Centre has revealed that slurry bugs causes organic phosphorus levels to double. The organic nitrogen level increased by three times. Both of these were compared to the untreated control. Slurry with a higher organic nitrogen content means a lower risk of nitrogen loss by leaching. This is an important aspect of NVZs and sustaining healthy and more productive soils. Overall results showed that Envirosystem slurry bugs and booster treated slurry promotes reductions in ammonia, methane and CO2 emissions in the lagoons and achieves a more ideal organic fertiliser for sustainable and economic farming.